Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. The 2011 Brazilian Public School Mathematical Olympiad featured a very interesting logic puzzle that confused many students. Let's first translate the problem into English. Aunt Zeralda knows that one of Ana, Bruno, Cecilia, Daniela, or Eduardo ate all the cookies. She also knows that the guilty always lie and the innocent always tell the truth. Bruno says the culprit is either Eduardo or Daniela. Eduardo says the guilty person is a girl. Finally, Daniela says if Bruno is guilty, then Cecilia is innocent. Who ate the cookies? A. Anna, B. Bruno, C. Cecilia, D. Daniela, or E. Eduardo. At first glance, the puzzle seems impossible. There are five suspects, but we only have statements from three of the people. Furthermore, any of the statements could be a lie because one of the children is guilty. But even if we knew any of these statements were true, no one is directly accusing someone else. So even if we know a statement is true, we can't directly figure out who ate the cookies. So how do we figure it out? Let's go through the problem step by step. The aunt knows that one of the children ate all of the cookies. She also knows that the guilty always lie and the innocent always tell the truth. Only one person is guilty of the crime, and only one person will be giving a false statement and lying. The innocent always tell the truth. It's important to clarify something in a mathematical context or a logic puzzle setting. Lying and telling the truth don't mean the same thing as we use in casual conversation. To say a lie means to speak a mathematically false statement, and to tell the truth means to speak a mathematically true statement. You are either lying or telling the truth. There is no half truth. You are either saying a false statement or you are speaking a true statement. So now let us analyze the three statements. We start out with Bruno who says the culprit is either Eduardo or Daniela. Let's suppose that Bruno is guilty of the crime. The guilty always tell false statements and that would mean Bruno a boy ate the cookies. Now, if Bruno a boy ate all the cookies, then Eduardo's statement that the guilty person is a girl would have to be a false statement. But if Eduardo is saying a false statement, that means Eduardo is guilty as well. So if Bruno is guilty, we have two people who are guilty, and we know that's not possible because only one person is guilty of eating all the cookies. So it's not possible that Bruno is guilty. We have a contradiction. It must be the case that Bruno is innocent and telling the truth. Therefore, the culprit is either Eduardo or Daniela. So we only have two suspects we need to consider, and thankfully we have statements from both of them. Now let's look at Eduardo's statement. The guilty person is a girl. If Eduardo is guilty, that would mean he ate all the cookies. So this statement would then be false because the guilty person would be a boy. But this could work. This doesn't contradict any of the other information. It's possible that Eduardo is guilty. We can't conclude anything further. The same thing happens when we consider if Eduardo is innocent. In that case, he would be saying a true statement and the culprit would have to be a girl. And since the culprit is either Eduardo or Daniela, the culprit would have to be Daniela. But at this point, we can't conclude anything just from Eduardo's statement. So we now look at Daniela's statement. Daniela says that if Bruno is guilty, then Cecilia is innocent. We previously concluded that Bruno is innocent and is telling the truth. So what is the meaning of a statement, if Bruno is guilty, then Cecilia is innocent? What is the truth value of a statement with a false premise? To handle this case, let's look at a truth table of P, Q, and if P, then Q. There are four different cases to consider, and for our puzzle, we are going to focus on the case when P is false. 
Notice in this case, if P is false, we always have a true statement for if P then Q, regardless of the truth value for Q. A false premise will always imply a true statement. A statement is vacuously true if the premise is false or not satisfied. To give some intuition on that, suppose we take a country that has no military bases. Then an evil empire cat says, all your bases are belong to us. That would have to be a true statement because if a country has no military bases, then all of the bases can belong to cats. That would be fine. If cats also said all your bases are not belong to us, that would also be true because there are no bases at all. Each statement is clearly a meaningless truth. So now let's go back to the logic problem. We know that Bruno is telling the truth. So if Bruno is guilty is a false premise. If we have a false premise, that means the entire statement always has to be true. So Daniela is uttering a true statement. That means Daniela is innocent because someone who says a true statement is innocent and did not eat the cookies. So if we can rule out Daniela, then the culprit has to be Eduardo. And the correct answer is E, Eduardo ate the cookies. What an interesting logic puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.